Hello there ladies and gents, I'm Apex, this is Apsu. I was actually recording this with my good friend Felix. So Felix if you're watching this, I'm so sorry but all of the audio uh, bugged out. So I have to do this commentary over the video. Um, sadly that's how it is. I hope you're going to enjoy this gameplay of Apsu anyway. I was absolutely blown away by this gameplay here and just the music, the colors um, just the whole vibe of it and and you're kind of this it's, it's the creators of Journey I think and some who some of the people who create Flower which is much of an much more of an experience than a game uh, it's still a game of course but it's very much an experience where you just, you know, uncover secrets through the story, and there's no dialogue really, uh, so you got to be, uh, you got to have your feels on, your feels going, and be deep, deep like a well. Oh, here it starts. Just listen to the music, man. I can watch it and appreciate the music way more uh, when I comment on it from a third person perspective when I'm not exactly in the gameplay myself whoa look at them fishies oh, we're going deep we're going real deep it's deep as fuck What might we find down here? What do you think? What's that? Maybe it was some kind of vision. Or maybe we were sent into the ocean by aliens. Maybe we are an we, we are an alien. Think about it could potentially be an alien from outer space came to earth or maybe this isn't even earth it really looks like earth um, really does look like earth when you come down and just you know see the lush life and the plants and all that stuff but there's also some out of this world elements to it which is pretty interesting, but you're gonna see here in a minute. Oh, it's it's just me, just uh, <laughs> picking my mode here. I don't remember. I, f I it felt weird to me. It felt really weird the controls uh, so I think I turned it back yeah right there just interrupting the good music yeah I didn't I don't think I turned it back right there oh man just look at the water effect and the lighting just coming through the water just you know it makes a little gap in the water and it's really not a gap but it just makes this world so lush and colorful vibrant it makes it alive all the effects made it's really really pretty they did a great job like they did with Journey if any of you subscribers have played Journey I would like to know uh, a little more of what Journey is about because I haven't played it myself but if you have played journey please do this comment challenge this little uh, little comment uh, comment task that I'm giving you uh, please comment your favorite moment in journey and tell me about it what you felt what it was like because uh, really want to know and I don't care for spoilers you can come with uh, with spoilers or your your own uh, feel or your own way of uh, thinking about that moment that particular moment in journey I really want to know do 
different backflips. I was just swimming around really looking at the fish, interacting. Um, you could jump with the fish, you just didn't even realize they actually jumped with me uh, when I did it the first time. Oh, look at all those fish. Whoa. Oh yeah, I remember this. What did I, I... I called him something. I don't remember what I called him. And I... I I called it, no it's not him, it's a Goliath grouper. I called it Patricia. It's Patricia, Patricia, I cannot speak, Patricia. And when the music opened up like this, I was just, I almost got goosebumps. Hi. Hello. Come here. I love the music so much. I get so relaxed. It's so cool. It's really, really cool. And it, it apparently wanted fish. Just ate some fish. Randomly. Alright, bye, have a great time. I was like, what's this? Maybe we'll never know. I. I don't, I don't know what that was, really. I have no idea. that's part of the mystery about this game that these developers do very very well you don't really know you just get thrown into it there's no way of really knowing what exactly it is and I was like what's this and I thought that could maybe be a portal or something, if you think about it. A portal to another dimension. Which I would like to refer to as the Upside Down. You'll see here in a minute why. Also, um, stranger, also Stranger Things puns, yes. But that's not why I called it the Upside Down. You'll find out here in a minute. Hopefully you got that Stranger Things reference. If you haven't watched Stranger Things series on Netflix, uh, which is really fucking good. It's, it's one of the best, like, series out there, in my opinion. It's really, really good. It's kind of horrific and and uh, it's um, it's pretty extreme out there and uh, it has horror elements I wouldn't say it's exactly horror but it's definitely thrilling it's pretty close to horror at times I wouldn't even contemplate and say it is it is horror and I was like oh there's a shock Hello. <laughs> I was being a little more careful here. Look at those eels. So stretchy and flexible. And remember, this is an experience, so 
like I would like your opinion on whether or not you would like this uh, as an experience without me commenting on it or uh, you want me to comment on it uh, put that in the thread down below that would help me out a lot and I called this little buddy I have with me I don't know I don't remember how I discovered it but I called it I called it Wheatley it just reminded me of Wheatley or Gladys from the portal game it's not Gladys but but Wheatley just with the one eye and stuff I'm glad I also have one eye, but you know what I mean. Wheatley's just randomly looking at me, just waiting for my uh, my move. Now we're about to discover the upside down. Like this is fucking weird. I was like, am I supposed to go in there? It was kind of dangerous. And we are now in the upside down. It looks kind of like a lost city. It has some, was it Middle Eastern or something like that, uh, like architecture? They had some, uh, I don't recall, quite recall, maybe it was Mediterranean. It has some special architecture. I just swam out to explore and I just wanted to see if you could actually go out here. It looks kind of like a cathedral. Pretty, really beautiful. And I was enjoying every damn second of it. Just listen to the music. It's one of the greatest experiences just from the get-go. And I really recommend if you're into that sort of thing that you try it out. You will enjoy it through the whole thing, I can promise you that, if you're into that sort of very chill uh, feeling. And you feel like the world is so big when you're underwater, but it's really not, it's very linear, this story. It gave some of me, it was kind of symbolic, this. It gives some of my life, some of my, uh, my quality. It gave a part of me to create life. Here it goes. All the life comes around and goes around. And I gave a life, and that made me pro progress. I gave a part of myself to continue my journey my road and my life and I know that's some very deep shit but I mean come on I'm into that sort of thing I thought hey can you swim down the upside down nope not anymore I just swam around looked at it wanted to see what was going on? I was trying to find a manta ray. Sorry for the weird cut, guys. 
and I succeeded in finding one. It looks so beautiful. Swimming. Just ch chilling with my Ray Ray. This is Ray Ray. Oh, it just eats. Look at it. It's eating. Just open its mouth. Or else it's just eating. That's what I would assume. So we'll continue our journey. Sorry, that's a very bad pun. We'll continue our journey through the ocean itself. Going into some ancient ruin, I guess. That kind of looks like my people, I guess. I remember this now. I began communicating with Wheatley. I just stared at that painting for a while. That's some strange kind of hieroglyph kind of signs and if you see it down in the bottom by their feet at the painting and up top as well, it kinda looks like hieroglyphs inspired by the Egyptians I guess. Look at those gobbles. Google gobble. Google gobbles. So we go on, little friend. Ah, oh, man, I'm still sad because of that. <laughs> when it happened, I was so sad. It just, you know ruined the whole thing. I was just about, oh, we've got communicating. And I was like, oh, it's so good, so sweet. And then a shark comes destroying it, and just ruining my life. Why would you, why would you do such a thing? Why? 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 I don't know, man. And then I thought to myself, well, let's see what's at the bottom. You there, bottom? And yes, there was. A beautiful sandy bottom. And I... I discovered... A new animal. I guess that portal is to the is to the upside down. I, th I think that must be a portal to the upside down. Beautiful sea turtles. I wanted to ride one. So that's what I did. A leatherback sea turtle. It's called a leatherback sea turtle. It's so cool. It reminds me of uh, Hey dude from uh Find Nemo. I don't remember what the turtle was named. Just listening to the quiet. It's really nice. And I found some this this actually looks quite alien. It looks something from out of this world. I just swam around if 
found one of the collectibles. Still don't know what that does. And the lighting when you look up is so cool. So well made. The water physics, everything. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Hello, friend. What are you? I, I mean, some kind of alien contraption? Really didn't know what I was going into. Still do not know till this day. I swam along. So, this was the first episode of Apsu. I hope you're looking forward to it. I sure as hell am. Please do leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do to let me know you want more of this. Because I really want to show off more. Uh, I'm looking forward to putting it out there for you. I'm Apex. Keep it mellow.